First Corinthians, second chapter, first verse. First verse. Hallelujah. The Bible reads as thus. And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. Yes. For I determined not to know anything among you save Jesus Christ and him crucified. Mm -hmm. And I was with you in weakness mm -hmm. and in fear and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching, okay. say preaching, preaching, was not with enticing words of men's wisdom but in demonstration of the spirit and of power. Say power. power. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men but in the power of God. We're going to stop right there at the fifth verse, we see here uh, uh, Apostle Paul preaching. Uh, he's preaching the word, saying how uh, uh, he came to the people. And you know, some people like you to talk with big words. That's right. And use elegant speech. You know, when they, when they, when they look to me to do big words, I, I give them. Big words. I give a word like elephant, like rhinoceros, giraffe. Give them a big word. But the Bible declares that if you're going to win a soul, you got to win it with the simple things of life. Yes. Jesus himself said, I come, uh, 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 I come with the simple things to confine the wise. In other words, I'm a bro. The, uh, the, the wise folks mind by the simple things of life. Yes, that's right. Here Paul writes. Uh, here Paul writes in the word and says, and brethren, mm -hmm. when I came to you, I, I came not with excellence of speech. I didn't try to speak. I didn't try to use all my education. Because education is one thing, but but edification is another. Come on, I come to edify Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Somebody say Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Uh, we preach Jesus Christ. And for a few minutes, I want to talk to you about the power of the cross. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. There's, power there's power in the cross. In the cross. Uh, uh, there's power, wonder working power. Yeah. Uh -huh. Come on with that, Lord. The songwriter said, in the blood of Jesus. Yes. But you got to understand where that blood was shed. Yeah. It was shed out on a hill called the God. Yes. Out there was an old cross of power. Yes, and upon that cross, they they they, they hung my Lord and your Jesus. Yes, sir. Between two men. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I, I, I want you to turn and tell your neighbor between conversation. Between conversation. That's where Jesus was out right there on the dock of Hill. He was between conversation. Yes, sir. Because the writer, the, 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 the robber on the right, on the left, said, if you be the son of the living God, yes. how about you uh, uh, come down and save us sweet? Yes. And the one on the right said, let him alone. Uh -huh. We should be up here uh, uh, hanging for our sins and transgressions, yes. but he done no man wrong. Oh, Master, if you do when you come into thy kingdom, please remember. Yes. Between two conversations, Jesus, our Lord and Savior, hung on the rock of here. Yeah, he did. There's power in the cross because yeah. uh, uh, none 
could, could, could hang like Jesus hung. One, one could, could, could take the, the sacrifice that Jesus took. And it took Jesus and Jesus alone. There's power in the cross. There's wonder working power. There's the type of power where it, uh, 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 nobody can miss. Uh, Lord have mercy. The Bible declares that nobody can measure the grains of sand on the beach. Nobody can measure the power of God's holiness. Nobody can measure the power that Jesus uh, 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 showed out on the top of the beach. Said he was tried in five courtrooms and did not find justice in that one. They beat him all night long. Yes, sir. Listen to this. They beat him all night long. They beat him and slapped him, blindfolded him, and slapped him and said, Prophesy. Yes, sir. Tell us who hit you. They taunted our Lord and your Jesus. Yes. And Paul here writes, I did not come with elegance of speech. I did not come with wisdom of man. I, 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 but I come to give you the testimony of God. Yes. That he sent his son, and his son died on the cross. Yes. Died up there for our sins. Died up there for our justification. Died up there for our love. Yes. Peace and understanding. Come on with it. I like the second verse here because the second verse says 